Good afternoon. Today is a very, very, very important day. I said very three times because we are literally one day away from the eclipse. Today I'm speaking with Janie Seguin from Canada. This thing, I believe, our third interview that we're doing. Um, and we're going to put together timing aspects and some new revelation that God has actually revealed through Janie. And because God actually at this point wants to reveal some special timing starting now, April into July. So we have some incredible prophetic words we want to put out today. So please share this video immediately with all of your friends, family, even people that don't know Jesus or Christ, share it with them ASAP as soon as possible because things are about to unfold in our world and we truly want this message to get out to why? To show the glory of God. So whatever happens here in these next few months, we want people to know that it's all by God's design, he's in control and in charge of everything going on. So share this message immediately. Get it out to all your, again, friends, family, and anybody who you think would benefit from this message. So, Janie, welcome. Thank you so much, Bo. What a pleasure. And truly, I thank you for being so gracious towards me. And um, we'll start with a simple prayer right now. So we plead the blood of Jesus over this podcast today, and we ask and pray that your ears would be open to the loving voice of your creator who loves you. And, and we just ask the Holy Spirit to flow today in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, we have so many important things to cover today. I know it's probably very interesting to the world right now. You know, what's going to go down? Is anything going to happen? Uh, what does all this mean? Uh, there's all over the internet. People are talking over the internet, over news media. Uh, the prophets are speaking. Uh, the the alternate media is speaking. It's, it's everybody's talking about what could or may happen. And here's the thing. None of the noise matters. What matters is the word of the Lord. What does the Lord say? What is the Father? What is Jesus? What's the Holy Spirit saying about what's about to manifest on this world? What is God to revealed to me about timing, timing of these issues? What is God revealed to Janie about the word? What is he revealing to her about what is about to manifest? So this podcast is to put pieces together because what is revelation? A reveal. So God actually wants to now reveal new information. God wants to reveal some timing that has never been revealed yet. And so we're going to reveal some things right now in this podcast that I think are going to be truly historic, but really exciting for those listening. So again, please get this podcast out ASAP. So what I want to do at this point is I want to pull up some slides and then we're going to match up the slides with some prophetic words that the Lord in the past week or two has given Janie. So we want to start off specifically here talking about resurrection. Resurrection specifically was last Sunday. So a week ago today, it was March 31. Today, again, being one week later, so today is the 7th of April. So we're going to talk about why resurrection was so important and what we want to look forward from resurrection onwards. Those who know the understanding that the Lord revealed to me with regards to the Kim Clement prophecy about January 21. I saw a python, and God said, between the 70 and 100 days, it shall begin, it, the strangulation and the destruction of this will begin, and it is going crazy. It is manifesting throughout America because it is dying. Now, you may not understand spiritual warfare and Diablo and Satan, Satan and demons and darkness, but it waits for an attraction, it waits for an invitation, and 
as I've said, there's been great division. But also it was spoken of that beginning January 21st, there would be a period in between 70 and 100 days, the spirit of Pythos will be destroyed if the people act accordingly. This spirit is doing its utmost to destroy as many states as possible, make its mark. It'll be leaving and we'll show that to you today. I wore this purposefully. It's the gold. And I'll explain that in a few minutes because he spoke to me about watching the gold as a sign. The January 21 prophecy of Kim Clements spoke specifically about 70 days. 70 days from January 21. Well, the revelation was very, very clear cut. 70 days was resurrection. In this case, Resurrection Sunday. So what the yes. Lord has revealed to Janie specifically was that is the true word. Christ's resurrection on March 31 started day 70. It Correct, did. Janie? Yep, sure did. And then the second message, the, the extension of that message, Kim Clement spoke about 100 days, which would be April 30th. However, the extension of that, and this is the calculations that we'll go through all of this in, in the prophetic voice today, was we mentioned before, May 18th through the 19th, that's Pentecost, okay? The revelation that the Lord gave to Janie is this, resurrection for his bride. This is incredible. The resurrection for the bride begins at sundown. May 18th, 19th, <laughs> Pentecost. Janie, expand. Uh, yeah, so he also revealed to me that, um, so the actual day of March 31st, okay, as Bo was explaining, that will be for his bride on M May 18th and 19th. So this, this is incredible. We're moving into an amazing time with our Lord and Savior. So we need to keep our eyes focused on Him. Uh, we need to come to Him with a repentant heart in this hour. And we certainly need to turn from our wicked ways. I just feel a quickening in my spirit that a lot of people do not realize and understand how significant this is going to be. Some people are still walking in the darkness, so to speak, or slumbering. Um, this is the time, and you've heard it many times before, you, you need to get it right with the Lord. So um, that was revealed to me, simple words, that it would be a resurrection for the brides of Christ, the body of Christ. We are his brides. He spoke specifically about Salem, okay? So I want to read what he, what he gave you, Janie. He says, yes. in 2017, the eclipse, well, this is the part that I added here. In 2017, the eclipse crossed over Salem. So we know that fact. What happened, again, I want to pull the slide up here. In 2017, okay, okay remember the eclipse? There's two right. eclipses, the one of 2017 and the one that's going to manifest tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. The one of 2017 is critical because it first entered the United States, right? And it came over a little city by the name of Salem over there in Portland, Oregon area, okay? Right. Critical because this there's reasons for all of this, and it ended up actually traversing over seven cities called Salem, and this time it's over seven cities called Nineveh. So if we expand upon on the our understanding of this, what we're looking at is, is in, 19, in 2017, the eclipse crossed over Salem and actually entered the United States at Salem. In John 3.23, it says John was baptizing the Lord. This is where baptism of the Holy Spirit will start. Yeah, what the Lord gave me. It's the baptism. Um, because people are, like I said, people are not getting this. And you really need in this hour to understand how important that is. Right. So it says, this is where the harvest will begin. Come on, let's repeat this. Let's celebrate. This is where the harvest will begin. That's what in he revealed Salem, to me. 
over yes. again. And it's this starts, okay? That's so the billion as soul eclipse harvest. comes in, it starts the billion soul harvest. So mm -hmm. we've been wondering, we've heard the prophet speak about the billion soul harvest. God just revealed the billion soul harvest starts in Salem. As the eclipse begins, we're going to traverse backwards seven years to mark the massive X across the United States. And this is where the birth of the harvest begins for the latter rain. So this starts the billion soul harvest. That's the exactly what he told me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the next scripture that follows is, is Matthew 28, 19. Yeah, Therefore, go and I make mean. disciples of all the nations, nations baptizing yeah. them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm hmm Right. We're going to see and taste that the Lord is good. We are going yes. to see and taste that he is good for sure. Glory. We are in a spiritual warfare right now. This is something very significant, but what Bo is saying, we are birthing in this era and it starts with his brides and it starts with that harvest. And if you remember, just off the top of my head, Matthew 24, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not deceived. For the end is not yet. These are the beginnings of birth pains. That is what we're stepping into right now. We're stepping into his glory is about to come upon this world. It's yeah. going to enter in or it's going to start mm -hmm. in Salem. So I, want, I did a little homework just so everybody's very clear about what Salem represents. So here's what I found out. Before there was Salem, it was Shalom. Shalom. Peace. And what is the definition of Shalom? It means completeness. Perfect. Peace. Health, Lord is peace. So yes. Shalom was the predecessor to the word Salem. And then Melchizedek, the king of righteousness, changed the name of Salem to Jerusalem. Huh, what a coincidence that there's USA right in the <laughs> middle of right. Jerusalem. See, there are no coincidences if you've listened to my podcasts. And lastly, the importance of the four sixes. That's critically important because it's an impossibility for this to happen. But understand when it entered Salem over here on Portland, Oregon area, seven years ago, it was start this Monday. It is going to be. So on the 8th of April, it is going to be six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. Exactly to the exact day. So that's what's about to manifest here. And the other revelation that I just got, which I haven't even told you, Janie, yeah. but on this day, so tomorrow, the 8th of April, this is incredible. The math behind this is just mind-blowing because why? Mm -hmm. If you know and go study the market crash called Black Monday, Black Monday occurred in the year 19. 87 specifically date was october 19th janie this mm. is incredible so from october 19th 1987 the black monday mm -hmm. 33 years 33 months 33 weeks and 33 days six six if you add the threes up that's that's four sixes <laughs> in a row yeah. wow backwards to literally land on the exact same day. So tomorrow is 33 years, 33 months, 33 weeks, 33 days from Black Monday, 1987. So a financial event is coming. That's what this is indicating. We'll see what it all means. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. but it's all tied in. All the pieces are there right now for a massive, I want to use the word shift. I want to mm -hmm. use the word change. I want to use the word birth. I want to use the word beginning but that's the best way to describe what is about to happen here on this world how incredible are all these pieces coming together so let's continue so yes. the next part that i want to go through is actually your prophecy on the coming darkness coincidentally could be talking specifically about the eclipse if you go study the time of pharaoh and moses yeah. The 10th plague was the angel of death, but the ninth mm -hmm. was three days of darkness. That's now, I'm right. not sure if you know, but Diane Larkin just had a prophetic word. I believe she posted two days ago. And the word was a question from God. What if I extend the darkness? Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. No one knows what's going to happen, but the prophetic word was, what if I extend the darkness, right? If you read Exodus and what happened with Pharaoh in Egypt and Israel, there mm -hmm. were three days of darkness upon Egypt, but not in Goshen. So how incredible are all the pieces coming together right now? So Janie, if you can go ahead and read your prophecy in reference to the coming darkness, I will put it up here on the screen as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So March 29th, that's the day of the Lord at 9.20 a.m. For the coming hours, make sure that you're ready, that your soul is steady. For the power lost in darkness shall not be long. Hold tight to your scriptures and Psalms. For when the lights do arise, for I will be heard of, make no surprise. For I shall have my way of fun. For the evil will be undone. Make sure that you have what you need. But most of all, be one with me. Take heed. Pray, pray, pray for the light of day will come in to bring all my love and evil to an end. Worship shall be far and wide for all to see. For I knew this would be all for you and not by pride. Coming in fast are the days of everlast. Just think on these words. Amazing. When my golden trumpet shall blast to bring in a future who have never seen from past, old to new, so this time shall say that all that was corrupt has gone away. Bring in your sheaves. Bring them to me so that I will have your name written in my book for all eternity can take a look. You are my children from heaven. So make plans now for my hands of time sits at 11. For the pulling down of strongholds are here. If I do say my signs are so very clear. So run into my arms, which are endless joys of treasure. For that day is coming and where... You will enjoy the spoils given to you from heaven. Resurrection is a day of pure glory to restore hope to the lost and to give much abundance with power and authority. All eternity is for the taking as the keys to life have been given with a great shakening. Great shakenings will begin to bring all evil down with their grins. Who mock their only one true God, who sees all and knows their fate, that shook hands with Satan to have in return hate. Coming down, all ill begotten gain, for they shall surely feel all that they have done with great pain. I wish this wasn't so, but your free will is what I gave you so that you can learn from and grow. Seasons change, seasons go. So know who is your one true God. For all heaven awaits to see whom you will choose before it's too late. Fate has a part to play. Don't you forget that when I sealed you in your mother's womb, for it was so perfect. Be not weary in this hour, for your joy does come in the morning. Jesus is your way. Praise God and a hallelujah to that. Amen. Wow. So exciting. Incredible. Yeah. So these next short window of time, these next two months, a lot yeah. is going to change. But uh, we are stepping into darkness and the words were there very specific. They'll be short lived. Yeah. So sure. just be prepared. We don't know what coming darkness means particularly, but I would, my best guess would mean the internet will probably go down. All broadcasting yeah. media will probably go down. So it's just going to go dark with any kind of communications for the most part. So it'll yeah. be a time of, a uh, time of just time of prayer. It's and that's, and that's like one other Lord. part. Amen. Yeah. He's trying to communicate with his children right now. That's what he's doing. That's why he set those in, in that's this canvas, like I was saying to you, the sun, the moon, and the stars, his appointed times and seasons. If you take the time to read scripture, you'll know, especially the first five books, that's all about his laws. So if you're new to the Bible and you want to learn about his laws, 
dive into the first five books. And um, I'm just telling you, this is how he writes his signature, and it's in the sky. Uh, I have a lot to say about the sky that the Lord has shown me, but I, it's not for the show. <laughs> but, um, yeah, great times that we're in. Yes. Second thing I wanted to cover with you, Janie, is those who have watched some of the calculations in the past. So we had, so we had President Trump come to office, and then 1,260 days from when he won the election of November 8, 2016, 1,260 days to the exact day, oil went to negative $38 a barrel. Now, that doesn't make sense because it just doesn't make sense. How could oil, the world deserve, you know, it backs the world deserve currency, the U.S. petrodollar, went to negative $38 a barrel. The reason I'm referencing this, Janie, is specifically because what we're stepping into is an exact same moment of time, but opposite, okay? So what I'm saying is God revealed to me very clearly when oil went to negative $38 a barrel, which was kind of, I can use the word stupid, it doesn't make sense, right? It, it's, it does not make sense. Mm -hmm. But that God was very clear, that's a marker in time. And then from that point, you start counting. And you'll understand why I'm saying this in a second. But if you start counting from when oil went to negative $38 a barrel, guess what day you land on? Pentecost. George. A lot Floyd of days are, are right landing out. right on Pentecost. It's quite amazing. Well, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute for, these, for mm -hmm. this year. But I want to yeah. reference why this is important Amazing. because what yeah. God revealed to me is what's we're stepping into something what's called a undo for a redo. Think what that okay. means. We're going to undo and then redo. So, so we're going to redo. The calculations are saying we're going to undo and then redo the past four years. And mm -hmm. so we're going to go back in time. But the marker of time is very specific. It was 40 days to the exact day Pentecost and George Floyd riots break out. And that weekend, all hell breaks loose. And then you have rioting going right into Black Lives Matter. You literally had rioting going globally. And then you had wars and this peace was taken from the earth. And then 150 days further from that, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died to the exact day. Why I'm referencing the 40 days specifically is because we're stepping into a 40 day window specifically. And where is that? Well, specifically, it's Jonah 3 4. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has revealed a new prophecy to Janie in reference to Jonah 3 4. Ever, so people have referenced that scripture in other podcasts. Many prophets have spoken about that, but no one's had a revelation on it until today because the Lord wants to reveal further of what that specifically means. So now we're going to go to the next prophecy. And if, Janie, if we can read that one, I'm going to pull it up. This is the March 26th prophecy, and I'll put it up right here. And this will correlate directly to the 40 days and 40 nights we're about to step into, starting the eclipse onwards. 40 days and 40 nights I was in the wilderness. So shall you be my children in this hour coming upon you. You will know that my hand is upon a few, but this is the time you shall come running to me as your loving Messiah and Savior. For I do have compassion on those who don't know me. But as I tell you, judgment shall fall on those who continue to walk in their ways. Babylon the Great will arise in the future. But for now, I say, I know the future for those who are my brides. For I say to all in this hour of repentance, come to me now before my righteous judgment does fall upon you. Come be with me. Come live in me. Come celebrate with me. For surely one who does repent, we all celebrate in the heavenlies for you. Come for surely I am the way, your light for I will light your path through life if you would only trust in me to be your savior. For the living waters I do have, so drink now so that you may be free and live all eternity with me. Come, my children, come. Amen. It's talking about so 40, days. 40 days. Woo! 40 days. So 40 days. 40 and days. 40 days. 
And the 40 days takes us to Pentecost. We'll show that on the screen in just a few minutes. But 40 days takes us to Pentecost, which is the exact analog to yeah. oil going to negative $38 a barrel four years ago. You see, so it's replaying itself. But this it will is. be the opposite because four years ago, all hell broke loose on earth. Now God's going to break <laughs> loose on earth. <laughs> now we're going to have right. God break loose on earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when he breaks loose, he shakes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So expect shaking. So Shake. we're going to talk about that in, in as well, too. But remember, so we've talked about we're stepping into a window of divine favor. I've talked about in prior podcasts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. the prophecy base said, Babylon the Great will rise in the future. That was in the prophetic word just now. Okay. Right. So again, they're trying to bring on a one world government, one world agenda. They're trying to bring on their agenda, not yeah. God's agenda, bring on their agenda. God yeah. did give an appointed time for evil. So evil does have an appointed time, but the appointed time is not the year 2024 or right now, particularly what the time that we're sitting in. So it's going to be a flipping of the scales. And this is specifically what we can also correlate to what we, you know, scripturally when Jesus walked into the temple <laughs> and flipped the scales on who the money changers, yes. that's all a part of this prophecy that we're yeah. stepping into right here right now so what an exciting time to be alive but we're literally yeah. going to be watching these incredible things manifest here on this yeah. earth because it basically states you know what's proverbs oh is it daniel 2 verse 34 states while you were watching yeah a stone carved out by no human hand so while we're watching a stone the, the word of jesus yeah. Carved up by no human hand means God's going to intervene on the world. That's yeah. Daniel 2, verse 34. We are stepping into that moment of time. We're going to watch prophecy be fulfilled. This is a two and a half thousand, thousand. year. Thousand. Well, it's the last piece of the puzzle because basically yeah. every kingdom's existed. This is yeah. the longest prophecy standing. Two and a half thousand years. And we, we are blessed. God, to be so here to watch this last little piece come to be Daniel 2 34, the fall of Babylon. In that case, but again, it's, it's been morphed into what's called mystery Babylon, Babylon because they hide in the shadows. Yes. And they they created money out of thin air. They're, they pulled purse strings. See, the That's purse right. strings are the control mechanisms of every yeah. single mountain. What are the mountains? Well, They're the financial, hit, yeah. the, the mountain was, the money system was a top, was a, was a key one that allowed yeah. to control the family, the church, government, education, exactly. media, a, a, a media, entertainment, everything. Lots so of all of this. Yeah. Gets her tentacles and, and everything. Yeah. Everything, everything. Yeah. And that's exact tentacles is a great word. And it's yeah. it's it's the, you can characterize more as like a hydra too, because you can cut off one <laughs> head, but there's a whole bunch of other heads too. Yeah. You know, there's is there's heads yeah. and tentacles everywhere. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And so we're gonna watch we get to watch this in a single day. Okay, this is the cool part. We get to watch this go down in the next yep. 60 days. Between now and the end of May, like I've talked before, it was March was 90 days. Now we're in April. So there's 60 days left in this time window for all of this to go down. Wow. We're going to watch a fulfillment of Revelation 18 where it says the kings of the earth oh, will yeah. weep and wail in a single yeah. day, in a single day. Babylon, Babylon, the great she has fallen. Her plagues will come in a single That's day. A so yeah. that takes me to the next prophecy that Janie okay. got. And this is going to tie pieces together with regards to, because we've talked about time, right? We've talked about the well, Roman yes, calendar. We've talked so about time. When you and showed they... me, they can't clement the two clocks. The Spirit of the Lord says, there be two clocks, two watches. I am about to annihilate one of the clocks. It has been the agenda and the timing of men and the agenda and the timing of the, of the Lord God Most High. And God said the one clock has indicated one season, but the other clock has been ignored, which has been mine. People have said, but there is poverty around us and there is sickness and things don't seem to be getting better. The Spirit of the Lord said they've been looking at the wrong clock. They've been looking at the wrong timing. This is mind blowing. Because if you don't know what time you're walking in, you're doing everything wrong. You don't know what timeline or, or what you're doing. So it's a state and a constant state of confusion. 
So it's right. so important that everything's lining up and it's only been lining up since this year of 2024. Yeah. And the scripture for the time clocks, God revealed is Daniel 7, 25. So we're back to Daniel, Daniel 7, 25. And yes. he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High and change the times and laws. It's right there. So wow. th there, he's going to change the time so you miss appointments. What appointments? God's oh. appointed times. That's right. So Woo. Satan's the great deceiver. He's changed the clock. So this is the crazy, awesome part. See, God is so into all over this. Hour. It's so amazing. The midnight hour specifically. So I have March here. Why? Because that's March 31. That's why the March is there. March 31 marks resurrection. Okay. Right. So this yeah. it's a time window. It's a 70 window, 70 day window to 100 day window from 70 specifically of resurrection, which is March 31, 2024. And that takes us to the 100th day, which is specifically the 30th of April, but then we do the 40-day calculation of Jonah and yes. oil going to negative $38 a barrel relative to the flood, and that takes us to, into Pentecost two weeks later into May. So we are in this incredible biblical time point that the world has been waiting for for generate millennium, Ooh. generation. That is where we're at this is the point of time and so the eclipse itself that we talked about from the hebrew very closely please listen everybody from the hebrew calendar the day after the eclipse the ninth marks new year's day what <laughs> what the day no after way. the eclipse. Yes, so the revelation is so. You know how much I appreciate these. Everyone like everyone loves you, Bo, but you know how much I really deeply appreciate these calendars. Like this is amazing. It's, wow. it's when you when you and you'll understand why because then you start understanding that you count backwards from Passover that's about to come because there's two Passovers. Remember, two. Kim yeah. Clement said there's two clocks and they're coming together. Oh. Okay, so the two clocks wow. are coming together and they meet where. At four two one one two four. What? They're oh gonna meet God. at four two one one two four, the two clocks. So you've got well four two one is yeah, a well, death to life moment. And well, but yes, it equals seven, but there's <laughs> only in a hundred years wow. will you get the sequence of four April twenty-first in the yeah. year twenty twenty-four. So it's a sequence that only happens. That sequence only happens every hundred years, and it just wow. happens to be happening in that sequence. Is right here. The four two one sequence is happening between the hundredth day, the seventieth day, and the hundredth day, which is mind blow blowing. And in between the seventieth and the hundredth day is what two historic things: the eclipse, and then Passover. Yeah. And counting backwards from Passover, New Year's Day starts the ninth. But it fits perfectly in Tuesday. Exodus, doesn't it? Yes. And then if yeah. you count backwards, if remember talk the Julian calendar, Jamie, mm -hmm. the Julian calendar, if you count Exodus calculations, the Julian calendar is meeting the Hebrew calendar at Passover. Yeah. Yeah. And All see, of this is about to manifest on the world. So what an exciting time to be living in. And then Passover ends on the 30th, which just happens to be the last day of Passover is what? The 100th day. The hundredth day. And so this is incredible. The next month that we step into is May. Well, which May, is, is which 40 is 40 days. days. So 40 yeah. days is yeah. the Red Sea miracle. Ooh, that's It's powerful. Pentecost weekend. It's May 18th, 19th. Yep. So that takes me to the last prophecy that Janie has. And you're <laughs> going to love this one because the prophecy brings up Donald Trump. The prophecy brings up Melania. The prophecy brings up April, May, June into July. So this is a really incredible finishing piece. Every, you're, and you know what? Here. I say to your viewers, you just have to know how to just believe like a child. Just believe. And we all have those, you know, um, moments. And we're, there's a lot of doubting Thomases. And you have to, you're supposed to be a bit skeptical and you're supposed to test the spirits, but I'm telling you, the sign is on.
the wall. What is the wall? His heavenlies, his sky, the moon, the stars. And um, we're here now. Amen. Uh, speaking of that, um, when Jenny says the writing's on the wall, yeah, there's specifically what she's speaking of is when there's a song that was written in the 70, in 1971, which we'll talk about later, but it literally talks about the writing on the wall. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it was, I'm it was sorry. a prophecy. So it was a yeah. prophecy. Right? It's really, something really... between Bo and I, but yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Like God's so good. It's, yeah. So the point being is that, uh, that God uses his wall is the sky. Yeah. And so when he says it's written in the sun, the moon, the stars. That's oh, his wall. And all of our names are written in the stars. Every single one of us. We're 48 hours away from the, from the birth of God's new year from 2024. We're, we're 48 hours away. We got an eclipse coming with, as it enters into Salem. So it's going to be, again, um, Matthew 24, you'll hear wars, rumors of wars. See to that, you're not deceived. The end is not yet. Okay. But this is the beginning of birth pains. Okay. Let's pause for a minute there. <laughs> yeah. Katie, what's birth like? Before it's, you give birth, can yeah. you please give us a little explanation so people know this is not going to be like super simple or painless? It, it, it's very painful. Very painful. And, um, and th that's what it is. It's, it's simple. It's just very painful, but it's, it's something that when you do actually give birth, you actually even forget all of that pain that was, that just happened. So uh, there's so much going on right now. There's so much I want to reveal right now. Cause I, like I was saying to Bo, there's so much revelation coming in and it's crazy but birth pains are very much needed in this hour to shake the body of christ get up I, and here's an old saying well it might not be an old saying but carry your cross you love christ get up with that with the, you know the rock of foundation christ and i'm telling you when you have him he is your solid rock you have everything. You don't need anything else. He will get you through everything. So it may be, you know, uh, turbulence amongst the way, but know that once it's done, thank God it's not going to be, you know, what it should be. If we didn't turn back from Roe versus Wade, but it's going to be an amazing time. It's just the way God works. So Amen. So this yeah. prophecy is called mm. The Lord God Reveals His Spring Summer 2024 Timeline to the World. And you'll notice that this timeline and Janie's about to read fits like a glove with a timeline that we have been discussing on, on my channel here that God that the Lord has revealed to me. Because none of this is me. It's what God has revealed to me. That's and so I'm right, going to yeah. show you I'm going to show you and reveal to you. We've seen the prophecy. We've seen the cycles of time. Now we're going to interlace the the, writ, the prophetic voice, the word, on top of the cycles of time. So, Janie, go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, March 16th, 2024. The year 2024 now begins. So start this year and watch how it ends. For we win. The signs of time are here for you today, so shout hooray. Coming in will be a win world of love, for this season shall fit like a glove. Joy, glory shall be seen, for the riches of this world will now be yours, and new discoveries to explore. I hope this gives people a lot of hope. For my children of heaven, the clock is at 11, now it shall turn to 12, where I will remove all curses and spells. You shall be laughing and dancing in the streets. Make sure to tell them about me and whomsoever you meet. For the coming days will be mind-blowing to all who have heard my call and are knowing. Knowing the time and day and where I will have my way to bring this future into existence now here today. Rivers shall flow into my hand after the snow. Watch the beautiful flowers as they grow. For spring is here, and please, my children, you shall know that justice will reign. Now watch the show, 
For yes, the coming down of evil ones will surely be for you. A time of joy and fun will be seen through and through. My President Trump, I do say that you were here and born for this very day. This day is coming upon you with everlasting fire to take down the walls with the blast of my nostrils and where I will take you higher, high above the mountain tops, for your heart is gold. For you let me in to have this story told. A man that is truly a man who loves me. And that's all I can ask for, my child, for you are indeed free. Ooh. March, you shall march into the greatest days ahead, but make me first in your life instead. For you will need me as I need you to help bring my glory and see you through. April will come in, so let it begin with showers, for you shall have no lack in this hour. May shall be an instrument of my love. Hear the music play, for all the treasures shall be in your hands in one day. June, oh my loves, it shall be here soon, for the smiling faces in new resurrected places will begin. In July, you shall say, why, why has this time gone by? For beauty shall be seen for those who are in me, to set my people, the captives, free. For the coming down of kings has always been my plan, so stay still and know that I am God and stand. Like a bird that soars, high, watch how I expose one lie after lie. Melania, you have given me your hand, so stand strong and proud. For all of your enemies will be heard loud. You have given me your heart on that day, and I said to you, Will you pray? And as you have and still do every day, so I shall make all these tyrants pay. A public display I will demand with no more treasonous acts as I wave my hand. For the people who stand in Christ and did not give up, for I shall close this door as I speak today, for it is sealed and shut. Come to me who are all in need of repentance as I close this sentence. I will surely give you my heart if you will only come to me. For as you know, I died for you, not me. Your only way through life, Jesus, your Yeshua. In a single day, the kings of the earth will weep and wail. <laughs> the moment of time that we have been waiting for. Mm -hmm. is upon us the dam will break and it will be shattered into may yeah it's going to be historic when the dam shatters the truths come out like you've never seen before it right. will be historic that is what's about to happen historic because it will be biblical this will be and mark the greatest time point in human history and Three. we the church will get to watch this that is how awesome our god is so we're back to the month of may here we just spoke about may may is incredibly important because 40 days of jonah ends up the weekend of may 18th through the 19th this is identical analog this is an identical analog to oil going to negative 38 dollars a barrel four years earlier and then all the world we know changed after at all or on pentecost onwards so it's an incredible time point the revelation i further received we know the story of the tower of babel and nimrod oh well, yeah nimrod okay so nimrod was just about to complete his plans hmm, yeah. sound about right they're just yes. about to bring yeah. on world war three and they're all they're in just... one accord so that should tell the body of christ we need to be together in one accord in prayer and we know right before the tower tower was completed, God showed up. His glory manifest. Tower was destroyed. Tongues were twisted. Languages came upon the world. That happened on Pentecost. Yeah. This Babylon yeah. fell. Like a foreshadow. Nimrod, that's right. right. 
<laughs> that which has been will be again Ecclesiastes. So Babylon fell on Pentecost, and so will mystery Babylon fall yeah. on Pentecost time point. And then let's right, further look that. at the math here. The, the math, Janie, is is yeah. mind blowing. Two years ago, God said, study, put together the calculations on the Red Sea. So from Passover, we've studied before, it's 16 days to get to the Red Sea from Passover, from, from the angel of death. Wait a second. We never even touched on this, okay? So in order, so we, the 10th plague is the angel of death. Well, Three that's prophets, it. maybe even yourself, have stated the angel of death is on the earth. The I angel believe of death I did state is, that. Yes. He's going to strike. Is it Passover weekend? Again, I don't know. I know the angel of death is on the earth and four, maybe five prophets have spoken it. Okay. So the angel of death in 24, we're going to see deaths. I don't know what that means. Okay. But we're well, gonna I'm going to tell you, let, let me just explain something. Okay. Just a little revelation. It's going to be death. We know physical death, but it's also death. To your flesh it will also be death of the dollar so words can have more than one meaning you know that Bo. yeah so it's going to be death and that was a threefold i just said yeah but this is what the things the we are the watchtowers we're the watchmen on the wall we need to be saying what the lord is saying he's trying to commun uh, communicate with us so this is the time Right now, to let the body of Christ, we need to come together. They build Babylon with the dollar. The right. dollar must die. Be, and that doesn't mean go to zero, it's, but it's going to be dethroned as a world reserve currency. This yeah. must yeah. happen. Why? Because if it doesn't happen, then Babylon stands. It ties in with the time window of 71 through 74. Reason I'm saying this because Roe v. Roe was first argued Supreme Court, and December seventy one was law. January twenty second seventy three, the petrodollar contract was signed by Kissinger. Well, by signed by the Saudis, in the United States, on June 9th, seventy four. So it's this time window from when Roe v. Wade became law to the petrodollar becoming a contract. That time window is about a year and a half. That time window caused all the chaos in the world because now they can create money out of thin air. They're controlled. They can bond and enslave everybody with the money. And because the evil system is on the world now because of Roe v. Wade being law. So the revelation was it was the 50-year window. And we're stepping into the end of that 50-year window this June 9th. 2024. Now, it's interesting because the war of Yom Kippur, God mm -hmm. said, I said, heard very clear, the Yom Kippur war, look with the dates and watch what happens. So it started to the mark of October 6, 73 to 23, to the exact mark. We've okay. had the other two dates being 100% on the money. Bang, bang, bang. Three in a row so far. The last date is May 31, 2024, relative to May 31, 74. Which means that if God intervenes, or when God intervenes on this world, the financial system crumbles. Remember what happened at Passover with the angel of death. The next day, they plundered Egypt of the gold Oils. and silver. There's your wealth transfer. Oils, yeah. mm -hmm. And then that talks in with the fall of the U.S. dollar. So however this is going to play out, we're going to watch it together. But when that all falls, their mechanism that funds the war suddenly comes to funding of the war comes to an end. And hmm, guess what would happen if the funding comes to an end? Maybe the war's would come of to course. an end. So, yeah. so by June, wow, could this be an exciting time in our world? So what we wanted to reveal to you mm -hmm. was these three incredible prophecies that fit like a glove to the cycles of time that God has revealed. And then he further revealed more within the prophecy for the world to really see yeah. how awesome our God is. Because God does nothing before first speaking through his what servants the prophets <laughs> and signs as well
and his word. He'll tell yeah. you things if you get in his word. What I've come to discover is, you know, that God speaks through his word, the written word. But he also speaks yeah. through prophets. And he speaks oh, no, through yeah. numbers. He speaks through numbers, like what we just illustrated with the calculations. Yeah, numbers. And yeah. further on top of the numbers, he speaks through the signs that we talked about in the heavens, right? Yeah. And so when you start putting all these pieces together, wow, is our God awesome. But not only that, he wrote the end from the beginning. He did. It's an awesome God. So we're going Jenny, into some amazing times. Yeah. Thank you for being here. What a what a mind blowing podcast we did today. Please, people, get this out ASAP. The eclipses tomorrow. Get this information out as soon as you can to friends, family, anybody who knows Christ and doesn't know Christ. Get it out to let them know what's about to happen. But on top of that, how awesome our God is, and none of this is random. In fact. That's right. God it's loves not. you. Jesus loves you. The Holy yes. Spirit loves you. God, the Trinity loves you. And Jeremiah 29, speaking. 11. I know the plans I have for you, thus saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you and plans for hope and a future. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So you're seeing it go crazy? Grab on to him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hi, this is Bo Polney, and after thousands of requests, this is my official announcement. This is a heads up and a first glimpse of what I have been working on. I have been working on a book. This book is a prophetic understanding of God's perfect timing from creation to his return. It's going to be explosive. This is the first book I've ever written, and it will explain and illustrate with beautiful full color graphics of God's timing of events into the end of the age, the end of days. After reading it, you'll want to keep this beautiful book on your coffee table and share it with all of your friends and family. I'm telling you, it is amazing and you're going to love it. This book is going to open your eyes to the present day events and how they are occurring with mathematical perfection as they directly fulfill events prophesied in Revelation over 2,000 years ago. God speaks through his word. We know that. He also speaks through his servants, the prophets. And yes, he does speak through numbers. If you want to see how truly perfect his timing is and the specific calculations he has revealed to me about our future into the end of the age, this book has all the incredible details. Are you ready to see the cover and a glimpse of inside images? Here you go. I doubt there's a book anywhere in the world like this one. It illustrates God's perfect timing from creation to the book of Revelation, including the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the seven seals of Revelation, the great American eclipses, the coming great Egyptian eclipses, the coming aliens, yes, we talk about aliens, the rise of Antichrist and the mark of the beast, the coming rapture, and all the way to the likely timing of Christ's return, and much, much more. The mathematical calculations are beyond any human probabilities, clearly illustrating the end of days was written from the beginning by the hand of God. This book has a lot of surprises and will open your eyes as to how truly great our God is. I believe it's gonna blow your mind and get you excited and prepared for the times ahead. It'll change the way you look at recent events in the world. It'll give you the power and understanding of how long we really have into the end of days and how all things are working together for good. That's why after reading this book, you're gonna to begin to see how Revelation, like the Bible, is actually the good news as all things are manifesting in his perfect 
timing. So, how can you be the first to get your very own copy? Well, there's a link below this video. You can be the first to pre-order it and get it as soon as it comes out in April. And if you're one of the first 300 people to pre-order this book, you can receive a 30% discount by simply entering the code 777 at checkout. There's also a link for pre-orders on our website, so be sure to use that discount code. And yes, the book will be available on Amazon, however, no discount will be there. This is Bo Polney, I love you, Jesus loves you, and I know you will love this book. Thank you so much, and God bless.